Speaking of the Browns, they worked out Aaron Lynch yesterday, who hasn't played in the NFL since the year 2020, but it's been a relatively productive third down pass rusher throughout his career. A former fifth round pick that's bounced around but does have 21 career sacks. He did. I'm play surprised with the Browns worked out a defensive end considering how many defensive ends are already locked into their roster. Are you guys a little surprised at the trial as well? That's crazy because he played with me in San Francisco. I kept looking at like Aaron Lynch. Why didn't yeah. that sound so for me? I, I, I feel like I'm old for real. For When's real. the last time he played? 2020. 2020. So you mean to tell, so I mean, you're telling me there's a chance for me. That's what I you're mean, telling me. First of all, <laughs> get that work yeah, out. Yeah, let me go ahead and drop some What are the odds if this guy could help them? Hasn't played in four years. A pass rusher? Listen, yeah. as a pass rusher, you, you wake just, up and do it. Just be relentless. Yeah. You, we need you for two plays. Just be relentless for two plays. It's and probably we'll just get you a blow. the tires, maybe. No, right? I think it's, yeah, it's one of those things that if we're going we're gonna to work him out, see if he still got it. Yeah. Yep. And if he can, we're cool. He'd be a nice practice squad guy. We'll work him through the rest of yeah. the season. If he becomes really good from getting it back in shape and getting back in game shape, we can always activate him for a game, give us another pass. Right, right, right. You constantly have to be looking for talent, yeah. and sure. especially on the margins. I mean, if somebody goes down in training camp. I mean, you know? right, but he's not a guy they're giving a guaranteed contract no, to. No, no, no. no. He'd, be, he'd be on a minimum type deal. Yeah. Right? Which, bring which is fine because I know a safety out there that's willing to play on the minimum deal as well. And, you know, NFL is such a violent sport. You know, I think that Are we, you still willing to play? I am. I go out there. Why? You have a nice so career I now. Love, Why I would love, you do that? I love the game. I know, but you're doing well for yourself, right? True, you get an but, to take but, the, but listen, how cool yeah. would it be if I if you played? If I played and I still cool came on, I came on on my wait, wait, you off on Tuesdays. Tuesdays yeah. I roll up that in here and sit down. Be like, what's your? I tell you, what's going on in the locker room? Yeah. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would. I would. Yeah, I don't think the Browns. Not on, not on the air. I would. Yeah, right. That's true. We get the behind the scenes. Stuff. I don't think the Browns will look too favorably on you coming on the show every week. I mean, me, time I mean, this is if, if like they want them that bad, they got to accept hey, it. <laughs> hey, like, listen, I gotta do my. I do a hit section. Maybe I won't do the whole two hours. I do yeah. a ten minute hit All section. Right. Ty, what do you remember about Aaron Lynch though? As, as a player, you obviously played with him in San Francisco. I'm trying to remember. I think he – I feel like he was uh, one of the – he was a rotational piece. But I don't remember him being, like, like great or anything like that. I, you know what I remember about him? I remember he got mad about a contract thing, and then he ended up leaving after the season. Right, we, it was the year we went, like, 4-12 and 12 or something like that. And I remember him saying, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> And the team was like, well, we went 4-12 and with you. We went 4-12 without you. I think, he, without I think yeah. he went to the I, I think he went to either the Jags or the Bears after that. But I remember yeah. him. He went to the Bears, then Jacksonville. Yeah, see? I was like, he was like, yeah, I'm out of here. I remember that. We so were packing up two, our locker. His, he was gone. In his first two seasons in the league, he put up 12 and a half sacks. Six as a rookie, six and a half in 2015, Tyvis. Yeah. After that, his numbers kind of dropped off a bit. He tested very well at the combine. He's a guy from South Florida. But once again, has not played since 2020. All right. His last three seasons in the NFL, uh, hell, let's go last four seasons in the NFL, he has a combined seven sacks. Nice. It's just a camp body. Yeah. Just if I, they even sign him. By the way, did you, Kevin Zeitler, the guy who I couldn't think of for like two signed days. Signed with the Lions. He signed with the Lions. So the Ravens have lost two starting offensive linemen. He played guard, right? Was that yeah. Kevin Zeitler? Yeah. He was still good. The was, Lions has had a really good offseason. You know, they got DJ Reader. Would you think I did? I wouldn't know that. <laughs> I was like, man, that's a good sign and for them. That was a good man. move by them. Yeah, they get that corner position figured out. They they got. Well, they've something. acquired a couple of corners. Oh. I don't know if they're any good, but I don't know. The uh, Mick Robertson, think. he's from like no uh, idea. La Tech, Nebraska. I think. No, he went to La Tech, didn't he? The corner. Um, oh, I think the running back. No, I ain't thinking about the running. I'm talking about the cornerback. They also re-signed DPJ. By the way, yeah, I didn't see that. By speaking the way, real quick, speaking of DPJ, talk about a guy who hit free agency at the wrong time. If he had hit free agency coming off his 2022 season entering 2023, he's getting a $15, $20 million contract. No, get yeah. out of here. What are yes, you out of your mind? Absolutely. Absolutely. What $15, season? $20 million what was contract? Not, not, not per year. Wait a minute. Like a two, three, two, no. Three. Wait a minute. At, you don't think he's getting $5 million a year coming off his 869-yard season? Two-year, $10 million contract? I don't think anybody was taking him seriously. Jason, back me up here. A guy that young coming off a season 
with hey. the tumultuous quarterback play. How many between, touchdowns he had that year? He only had three touchdowns. Oh, psh, stop Come it. on. Yeah, hey, he ain't getting – what would you say, 15? <laughs> like over three that. years, like three for 15, five no. a year. No, 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 I don't think you'd get that. No. I think you might – he would have got a couple million. Like two for six, maybe. Yeah, maybe you get like eight million and five of it guaranteed. Right, something like that. Something like that's that. That's more than what he got. That's more well, than what he got. What he get, minimum salary? I think he had a one-year, $2 million deal. By the way, I saw – uh, there was somebody put out a mock draft and they had a trade. Uh, Ty, was listening to this one. I'm curious. So this this was the trade. It was who was it? It was the bank. It was T Higgins to the Vikings for Justin Jefferson. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot, I can't. It was the Bengals tr- moving up in the draft. I can't remember who's. Uh, they said the Vikings. Somebody get, who's the second wide receiver coming off the board? Neighbors, Ro- Ro- neighbors, or Ro- Rome Ro- 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 I think it was to trade up to get neighbors, and it would be it was like Higgins and a second round pick next year, and the Bengals traded up to the sixth spot or the eighth spot, whatever it was, and and the you know whatever team it was also I mean, got that's the a, Bengals. That's first a round smart pick. trade by the Cincinnati. But why would the other team do that? Because it was the, the Vikings. You say it was? No, it wasn't the Vikings. I can't remember who it was. You Some said team, the fourth seed, the fourth team. That's no, somebody the, in the, the top Giants? ten that's not taking a quarterback. Might have been Carolina the or something. No, it would have been. No, they lost it would have been track. the Cardinals. Maybe it was the Cardinals. It might have been they the got the But I'm like, why wouldn't the Cardinals just draft that wide receiver instead of trading for T. Right. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. It didn't make any I sense. I would just – the fourth – yes, it should the, be Marvin Harrison Jr. If the Bengals could trade Higgins and get a top 10 pick, you know, obviously they have to give up some other things in addition to Higgins, I would do it. And then I'd take either – if I could get Marvin Harrison, obviously, yeah. or Neighbors, or even the tight end. What's his name? Brent Bowers. Bowers. I'd take him too. Anyway. I mean, if that's – if because – the only, only way, logically, I think you make that trade is that you know T. Higgins. You know what he is in the NFL. Yeah. The other guys, you is, you know that in the draft, it's always a crap, right, shoot. A crap shoot. You never sure, know yeah, who's yeah. going to pan out, who's not. With T. Higgins, you know he's played in the league. You know he could be successful. He can, yeah. be, can he be a number one is the biggest question. Yeah. And if all, you're going to make yeah. that trade, you right, better you know better that sure. he could be a number one. By the way, everybody, <laughs> now all the speculation is going to be five quarterbacks taken to the top. 12 picks. I just seen that JJ McCarthy gonna go fourth to the Vikings. Does, does he not him? have Mac Jones and Kenny Pickett written all over him? Like I, I said, Mac, I said Mac Jones was gonna suck. I said Kenny Pickett was gonna be Mac Jones. So far, I'm right. I think this. I think McCarthy's gonna be the same as those two guys. McCarthy doesn't strike me as a great NFL quarterback. No, I, but he's <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm calling my shot right was, now. I, Every quarterback in this draft will stink except for Caleb Williams. Uh, the rest are all gonna suck. That's what I think. Drake may nah. Jaden Daniels, the Heisman winner. Nah, I, I'm I'm tend to agree with Bull. This you is think not Caleb Williams, the only one. I don't think this is a very good quarterback class at all. What do you think? Who do you think is going to be good? <laughs> I'm not I'm not big on Bo Nix. No. no. Don't like him. Don't him. And Drake McCarthy. May Drake May can't win games, but I, what I learned is if they didn't win big games in college, they tend to win games in the NFL, which is weird to me. Like C.J. Stroud, he lost a lot of big games in college, but does well in the NFL. I don't know what that's about. Hmm. Um, I got a theory, but you work for the university, so I'm gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is you, what you mean. It's free speech. Should what are you make, looking up, Bull? Should have made a change. I was just kind of looking at Drake Mace. That, didn't he back Man. up Sam Howell? Drake, uh, he yeah. He didn't back up. He replaced Sam really Howell. Really good, yep. And Sam Howell sucks. Which, by the way, if, if Washington was going to pick Drake May with the second overall pick, they'd probably keep Sam Howell. So the fact they traded yeah. Sam to Seattle I, I'm telling makes you, me feel like Jaden Daniels is the move. As always, I'll admit if I'm wrong, uh, Caleb Williams is going to be really good, and the other guys, nothing. Drake May's an SWB, baby. Stiff white boy. <laughs> I always make him laugh when I Cause do Because I be, I be having to try to figure it out. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. I should have seen if you guys could guess. You really don't like Drake? Man? I do not like him at all. No no chance. No, no, no. The court. Bo Nick. What about Michael Penix? He's, he's, like, he's not getting drift. He's not one of the five, right? Yeah, he is. He's the fifth. May, Penix. Williams, Daniels, McCarthy. Oh, yeah. No, I don't like him either. I mean, him and Knicks are 5 6, depending on how you I think your quarterbacks. I, if I had to pick second, I'd, I'd go him second. Michael Penix? Yeah. But I, 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 I'm not feeling it. Bo Nix. 
that guy can't play. Come he, on. Said, he said, I looked at him and McCarthy, said, he, he's not a player. McCarthy, no chance that guy's going to be good in the <laughs> Listen, NFL. McCarthy, Mays. Anybody, anybody think these guys are going to be good besides <laughs> Caleb Williams? I don't really love Daniels. I think when you're playing uh, with two of the, the best receivers. The hell's cracking up back, back there? I don't know. They say they can't, they can't tell us. I don't, I don't know what they're laughing at. Uh, but, but Daniels had two of the best receivers in all of college football throwing to this year, Brian Thomas and Malik Neighbors, who will yeah. both be first-round picks, uh, which makes his life a lot easier. Drake May has potential, but he's really inconsistent. McCarthy, he's Mitch Trubisky. That's what I feel like. McCarthy, like, like I have – they didn't even let him throw the ball in college. Like, I don't, I don't even know how you truly evaluate what he is, but if, if your offensive coordinator doesn't trust you to throw a pass against Penn State in the second half, like, what does that say about you? So – did JJ? Did anybody ever watch JJ McCarthy and think that's an NFL quarterback? Ever? They didn't even let him throw the ball, like ever. I mean, he so. made some passes that was really good, but I didn't, I thought he needed to stay for another year. But I also know why he left. 